Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test the coolant temperature sensor on this Peugeot 207. Let's start removing some components to reach to a coolant temperature sensor. I need to remove the battery because temperature sensor is located down there. Remove the map sensor connector. Air filter housing. All right, now we can see the temperature sensor right here. Okay, so I'm gonna need to remove these clips to remove the temperature sensor. So, just like this, take it out gently. This is the clips. And you can take out the temperature sensor, just like that. Okay, so use just a small screwdriver to release the lock and then you can remove the temperature sensor. There it is. So this is my temperature sensor. So right now I'm gonna show you how to test the temperature sensor in case you have any fault code for it. All right, let's see how we can test the temperature sensor itself. Coolant temperature sensor is NTC sensor. It means it's internal resistance will change according to the temperature. When temperature increases, the sensor internal resistance will decrease. So we can test the sensor by considering this fact. So first of all, I'm gonna check the sensor internal resistance right now. So I'll put the sensor here, and I'm gonna check the internal resistance across those two pins. So as you see, my reading is 4.5859 kilo ohms. So this is a sensor reading on normal air temperature okay but i want to make sure if sensor works okay when it's exposed to higher temperature okay so that's why i have managed a hot cup of water right now and i'm gonna insert the sensor into the hot water and at the same time i'm gonna measure the sensor internal resistance because right now i have 4.5 4.6 kilo ohms and as I said, this sensor is NTC sensor. When coolant temperature goes higher, the sensor internal resistance should drop. Uh, to have more control on the sensor when I'm measuring the resistance, I'm gonna use these two pins. And right now, I can measure the resistance. At the same time, I will insert the sensor into, into the hot water, okay? So right now it's showing more than four kilo ohms. Let's insert it to the hot water and see how it's gonna go. Sensor internal resistance is dropping very fast. Two kilo ohms. So this, so this change shows that uh, sensor actually works properly, okay? Because measuring the sensor internal resistance in just normal ambient temperature doesn't uh, doesn't mean that the sensor works properly when it's exposed to the hot temperature. So right now you see the uh, sensor internal resistance value is dropping. So this actually confirms that sensor works properly as well. And if you take the sensor out and when it's exposed to the normal temperature, when temperature is dropping, the sensor internal value resistance is increasing back again, showing the sensor is working just fine. 